Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Wednesday, January 17th, 2024, the Memorial of St. Anthony. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who brought the abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Jesus is the ultimate rebel, isn't he? He just can't stop himself from doing God's will, no matter what the personal cost to himself. He is fully aware that the Pharisees are just waiting for him to slip up. They're watching him like vultures, ready to pounce if he dares to heal someone on the Sabbath. And so he calls them out on their hypocrisy. He says, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? to save a life rather than to destroy it. Jesus is calling the Pharisees out because they use the law of God for their own gain and for their own power. Being a leader in the church is about service. It's not about catching people doing wrong or using the law to manipulate others. God created the Sabbath to be a day dedicated to God, a day of rest and restoration. So it's hard to imagine that any church leader would not see doing an act of charity on the Sabbath as a good thing. Jesus is filled with righteous anger and sadness at their selfish hearts, and so he tells the man to stretch out his hand, and it is restored. This miracle is a powerful testament to Jesus' authority and his interpretation of the law. It underscores that God wants us to perform acts of compassion and mercy even on the Sabbath. This passage challenges us in several ways. First, it invites us to examine our own hearts and understanding of our faith. Are we just like the Pharisees, judging others, or are we acting with compassion and mercy? Second, it reminds us of the central message of Jesus' ministry, to bring healing and restoration. We're called to be agents of this healing in the world, breaking down barriers and extending hands of mercy. Are we engaged with acts of service in our own parish and in our own community? Finally, the story challenges us to consider the conditions of our own hearts. Are we open to the movement of the Spirit when it calls us to challenge the laws of today? We know that the laws of Christ are countercultural to what we hear in the media and in our communities. Are we brave and confident in our faith, and are we standing up for the truth and social justice in our world? And so today, let's pray and follow in the footsteps of Jesus, performing acts of mercy and kindness and demonstrating God's law of love and compassion for others. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.